Saturday edition of the program. As we mentioned, power is our one power airline stories. Then we look at gender based violence in the country. For Sika, that's our for welcome now the studio, Charles Vandy, Deputy Chief Director, Minister of Gender and Children's Affairs. Good morning and welcome to the program. Good morning, Salon. Good morning, Mosa. Good morning, Fambuda. And also one for welcome now the program, Joy Gabidon, Deputy Publicity and Organizing Secretary, Lawyers. We na organization we the talk for women day and got picking their rights now the country good morning and welcome to the program good morning and good morning to all the listeners then. and also one for welcome last and in the operations officer family support unit we in a unit within the salon police we they deal with issues like this good morning and welcome to the program good morning salon good morning and good morning listener okay today we look at gender-based violence we do on the increase now the country before we come to statistics from the family support unit and also from joy gabidon which in the two as body we defeat for uh woman and girl picking the right now the country i start with charles vandy deputy uh, chief director minister of gender and children's affairs for the Start for tell the public, listeners and viewers of Real Democracy, what's in a domestic violence from Unayun's standpoint as a ministry? Okay, thank you very much, uh, Musa. Uh, domestic violence, um, we define them um, the Domestic Violence Act of 2007. Now, any violence will they happen within a domestic setting and if we also get a domestic relationship. So, if, for instance, if uh, um, violence they happen within a compound, we get two, three apartments. Much as not different families they live in that two, three apartments, but they have a domestic relationship. They are within a domestic setting because they live within the same compound. So, if somebody come on a um, apartment A, they go fetch an apartment B. Uh, police get right for charge for domestic violence because there is a domestic relationship. And also, domestic relationship extend to, like, for instance, you get that new way they can't walk to you, you ain't get a domestic relationship, you pick in, you, you wife, your husband, you auntie, as long as we're all the dwell within that same, um, even extend to institutions, like a boarding home, because we're all they live there together. <coughs> so there is a domestic relationship. So domestic violence, they really happen. I made the law be very careful for explain within a comprise of for the uh, police then we able for know within made by domestic if it happen within a domestic setting and domestic relationship for day. So um, for instance, um, if me and Musa go fet now, he said we don't get any domestic relationship because there are police will get out away for charge because we know they live together with him, then me and I don't get any domestic relationship as per se. So um, domestic violence, very common in Sierra Leone. And uh, we were, we've been really try for ensure say it calm down because now one of the things that this would disturb the peace of a family, community, and the nation. And uh, far back in 2006, when as a ministry will be the work on them, laws then for let uh, domestic violence really get its strength in law. Uh, um, research been suggests that sixty seven percent of the homes they encounter domestic violence. Either they minor minor offenses, begin to uh, two thousand, they go born in hand or something happen. A lot of things then the way really they constitute domestic violence. And now this is not the reason why the domestic violence act may come for ensure say if we maintain peace in the home peace could in the community and extend to the you, you don't look at domestic violence at large. What in the constitutes that violence? We will not arrive at conclusions that this is not violence. When domestic violence uh fumble them it take different forms and types than they in domestic violence. Um in the law it really come out with uh, the types and the forms the way domestic violence they take. For instance they talk about uh, physical violence we um, you they really see by from yourself self like somebody fat you see wound they come on or some sides well or all all of them things and they can happen um, you also get sexual violence because we don't see what side intimate partners and also they co commit sexual so domestic violence <coughs> right for bring in sexual violence but the sexual violence has to have a domestic Relationship not to be then sexual penetration where you know some people you just go 
uh, hamburger, uh, molester, or whatever, but a for the within that domestic relationship. Then we also get psychological and emotional uh, violence. Where in most times you don't see with the eye, but it very uh, uh, for me now one of the worst forms because somebody they live with a trauma in the past you don't know within the hamburger. But these are challenges where people then the face. You see some man passing, hey, but you don't see one to carry the path. In mind the fire, in the think of things. Like like the like way the war been done. A lot of people when they go through psychological and waiting and, and emotional uh, uh, violence where anytime they remember then kind thing for a call. I mean the way how they, they feel bad, they're not able to forget that themselves for too. You can even see somebody how could they drop now working place. You need for check out whether all is well at home, all of their issues then they are very critical for them. It could make abuse day. I mean you deprive somebody for let you not engage in any economic activity because most of the domestic violence cases against uh, some partners now because everything uh now we get for care. So if I stop with all that support then that person they we left with no choice, right. but again for live in that violence and the culture of silence continue. So several forms then they way then they had to take, and we really want for left family they no say domestic violence it gets a lot of negative consequences, and we need for address them. Now I make on the fourth of September, the Ministry of Gender and Children's Affairs we pull a press release with the Honorable Minister Isa Tamahoy being signed off, where they really suggest that we all need collective responsibility for address them. You go see in neighbor plaba they happen and you see say it will result to domestic violence. You get right for and intervene and stop them. Or rather than pass here say, I mean they're real but we fixing and play. So we all get a lot for do for ensure say we address this issue. All right, you just explain uh, the different form of um, violence. Now my question is domestic violence they happen between man and man. For example if me you didn't know me you not causing Yes, it does happen because there is a domestic relationship. Now, for instance, you and your cousin, when all two are at the same host, when are they at the same host, uh, I mean, just uh, the explanation where I give, like, for instance, when are they at the same compound, let them be gauge, but we're not to the same pot when they eat from, but because when they live within that setting, domestic violence can be read from there. I'm not going to say now you cousin where you ain't from the same part when I day when I get a relationship then when I do that kind of thing then we will determine for you. Alright, from the ministry in point, what are the status of domestic violence at this moment? At this moment, uh, from we very uh, press release we pull, we say government gravely concerned about the kind of domestic violence we will see and we really want to call every stakeholder. So it's alarming. Um, I can tell you uh, between 2020 to 2023, uh, the work that we've been they do in collaboration with several actors, including the Office of the First Lady, uh, Hands of Our Girls, because the campaign will not be the only go to girls, but will be the broadening and to um, other aspects for the people that know say, yes, a lot of things can happen to, to, to the girls beyond just that. Um, but we don't do a lot of things. 2020 to 2023, we see a drop. But we don't begin to see a surge also this 2024 where domestic violence don't become a, well, for us it's an increase where we need for investigate and with the work with right. stakeholders for address that. Continue for the week inside the program in Emma Charles Vandy in the Deputy Chief Director and the Ministry of Gender as we there for look inside the issue of um, gender based violence we um, according to um, don't start for increase now the country. The program now good morning salon where they come to you live from Radio Democracy ninety eight point one FM and we will bring the program to you this morning. My name is Usman Kamara. And Usa Kamara na my name. We come to we other studio guests we na Lansana Tarawali operations officer family support unit na the salon police we in our units we within the salon police we they in charge of issues like this once again good morning and welcome yeah good morning family. you you don't get from charles vandy don't define from the ministry standpoint within a domestic violence and the uh level we did now before you give you specific uh data from the salon police standpoint and within some of the domestic violence they will not key, receive complaint for i want to make you start for the listeners and viewers within the rule of the salon police in relation to domestic violence uh, thank you very much and um, of course the family support unit now a unit under the salon police and the salon police charged with the responsibilities of um, protecting life and property and also enforce laws 
where they make now this country here and help for let people understand the existing laws then we we get now this nation where if you commit offense now that thing will hold you and the fsu get the mandate for investigate all sexual and gender-based violence and also related picking offenses because it's not not all the offenses they would investigate fall under domestic violence but some cases then the way they happen when they beat picking somebody not sabian it makes an street beat no more now we did deal with them because it concerned picking so we get other actors who can cover but we focus now on the sexual gender-based violence because we know say now in the happen boku and we involve mostly involve women and picking them so now then case then we can investigate and on the domestic violence because we did talk about the sexual and gender-based violence gender-based violence that a border term and the domestic violence they within that whole the uh, sexual and gender based violence issues and we they deal with psychological we get for do with the mind how somebody they talk to you how somebody they treat you they get for do with you psyche then we also they deal with economic they get for do with finance control of finance and mostly it can happen at the home the way the man then they in charge of the finance that they control the resources and most then that they provide the resources so one morning the man will grab and not glad with the family and say today i know they left chop money the picking and suffer the woman suffer or oh, they not glad because of one or two reasons for the woman in activities they decide for destroy the woman in market or in business or in only money and then economic abuse of course and there again another concern we will deal with um, emotional, looking for within psychological and emotional abuse. We are in you, they, you they treat somebody and it affecting emotions like feelings, sexual activities. When I'm married, and the woman rights, and the man rights, you did the problem for more length in the day. So we got the physical, and they talk about uh, inflicting injury or any arm like physical contact because the person you beat them, they get swelling. They get mark nine body all anything and they can fall under the physical and some aspects inside the domestic violence make provision of feeding if you fail for feed somebody some aspects inside the domestic violence will tell you say it fall under physical because when you fail for give somebody food for it it affects the physical being it helps in terms of body go they depreciate and everything so these are some of the offenses that we do under the domestic violence who they investigate. But where we they investigate the offense now domestic violence. Now during the time where we they do the statement of offense, are they we they differentiate between the way we are psychological, the way we are uh, uh, economic, the way we are physical. Now that side we they differentiate them. But okay. the offense itself domestic violence all right you mentioned um different type of um domestic violence which you say economic um, abuse emotional physical feeding and other one day which one on can the owner can get you know fast fast well on a domestic violence i will tell you say <coughs> will you get in um, sexual abuse faster because instead of fall under the but like like way director say now um not to all body any every people who are holding a one setting or domestic setting go sexually violent speaking so possible come away in a stranger so not a domestic setting but we get a domestic setting where in sexual can happen with a getter but the most common one are physical we quick for react in this country we quick for fit and one thing where domestic violence they tell you about they tell you about unequal power relation because i get power over you i get a dominance over you if I feel say you do me wrong, I don't defend suitable way for settler, and I forfeit you because I physically strong pass you. So we get the physical more. And secondly, we get economical. The economic they happen mostly when man they deal with all resources. And a boku, because mostly where they carry with them picking them, and then mama they carry them complain, then you go see say the man they own money. But because the mama bad. The picking they suffer <coughs> and picking up will suffer because a mama they rich picking up will suffer because a mama bad the picking not being big enough for learn a counter now this arts if you don't burn on our responsibility if the mama bad let the mama suffer for your badness 
So most of this time, we we'll get them complain the economic abuse society. The man not get chop money, man not feed. You go see man they live good life, but a ref or informal relationship go come with complaints. Say this man don't abandon this picky. All the man will tell you, they say this woman don't do me bad bad thing. So if this woman do bad thing, I picking for so far. So now then case then they would get more. Okay, let's look at um, the physical. Um, how um, on Adon they handle them? I, is it that na man against woman or woman to woman or man to man? It happen between man and woman, man and man, woman and woman, depending to the setting on a day. Like we don't, the, the director don't describe or define the, the setting within a domestic setting. So if me you turn a brother within a house, and I feel say this property where they left, me one get one all by myself. Then any small thing affects you. It's a domestic violence. We can investigate her. If me you turn uh, two sisters then they na house, then feel say because of one or two reasons, then they felt that they inflict injury that they do uh, domestic violence. And like I say, this country are we quick for fit. So the the physically happen between man and woman, uh, uh, man and man, woman and woman. Uh, but most people are partners then. Wealth counting, man. Few times we can get Monday with the counting away. They call it, we can get that clear. What do you think they can go to the, 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 the woman for? Man don't know they don't can make reports to the woman for today. Man don't know they don't can make reports to the woman to wait pepper what's up at it. We treat it equally. Because we make, the law no make provision say now for woman then. Now we make people like misunderstand that part of the law. We can try for make them understand say the law say domestic violence is for everybody, any person. We look by any def definition, they don't say any woman, they don't say any man, they say any person. We then treat this kind of way, not domestic violence. Yeah. How, how often the man they can report? Well, you know, no, you know, frequent because we get what we call the man box in our society. The man box in our society, now one box we get some beliefs, then. and then beliefs they are say man no for cry. If you cry, they go tell you, say, look where they behave like woman. It didn't make like woman. Then they say, man, not for lay complain. Hey, but you know, they can't lay complain because you have push you. So, because of that, man, in the fear for the reports, they mm -hmm. complain. Then now, the family support unit, when I can take them cases. Yes, of course. We don't investigate them. But, I will reference you one, like I talk about pepper water. One man, don't come office with pepper water, nine body, say, nine woman, nine to yampara. Immediately we move, we go arrest the woman. We can we detain the woman. The woman in a detention, we issue medical. We take statement from the man. Go and does the medical. That man go wait for until evening. Ten. Medical no can. By then five o'clock, the man can and then does the medical. Wait, he can tell we officer and me one get in the house. This woman one long and left alone. Go back in the house. They pick in the dinner house. So, so, so going by the statistics uh, from the uh, family support units, take me through the different cases the moon had on record in the uh, short period of time because according to f the social welfare, this day on the increase. It, it, yes, I will tell you, say, I will tell you, say, yes, we get um, plenty of cases that we would investigate. We get plenty of cases that we would investigate. Um, in all it be domestic violence we deal with cases that we fall under of other offense system across the country and domestic violence are the focus point but from where we start from january to june because we in a quarterly with a release with data and we need to work on the next quarter where we can release at any time and um, we don't record four thousand two hundred and 88 cases 4,288 cases them now there will be no record and inside the case then they will get the category we fall under offenses that were relating to picking but not to domestic violence like i say assault we still investigate for picking them where somebody not sabi picking or they're not in the domestic setting they just feel no more say this picking don't fend in palava and not fending people and only complain all like pizza. So we investigate them case then that category day, they will get the sexual offenses then. And, and sexual offenses then we get the sexual penetration of a child, we get rape, we get other offenses then under and that where we can talk about meeting a child for sexual purpose, 
sexual touching, so on and so forth. Then they again they. Then we get other offenses the way they happen between um, other people um, within the community where they affect speaking them. The program is still listening to uh, Good Morning Salon. We come to you from the Society for Radio Democracy 98.1 FM. Inside the edition of the program features the train we, we the local domestic violence. And inside the studio, we don't uh, get Charles Vandy, Deputy Chief Director, Minister of Gender and Children's Affairs. We don't explain the ministry position and within the two. And also, we don't get Lansana Sawale, Operations Officer, Family Support Unit at the Salon Police. And I want to bring now Joy Gabidon, the Deputy Publicity and Organizing Secretary, na lawyers with the organization we the first for urban and can picking there right now the country. Um, Gabi done from lawyer standpoint, what you make up of the current situation of domestic violence at the country? Um, before I answer that question, yeah, I just want to make listeners they know say when we talk about lawyers, na a short form for legal access to women yearning for equality rights and social justice. And of course, as we other counterparts and other colleagues, them don't they talk? As the minister, don't, ministry don't put out a, a, a press statement. We say very concerned because we are an organization of female legal practitioners in a salon, and one of the key mandates now for promote and protect the rights of women and girls picking in a salon. So, if gender-based violence don't they increase, it get for affect me as well because we concerned and we. Where we get with office now, 11 Passival Street, every now and again, we get people where they come and make reports. And we all know, say, for make the nation grow and make Sierra Leone be a better place, women and girls picking get a key role for play. Because statistics will tell we say, women and girls picking make up a majority of the population. So, if women and girls picking, they suffer because of gender-based violence, where as um, other speakers they don't say they deal with different different other abuses other forms of abuses like physical like economic like sexual like psychological it go affects the nation in the long run so we're very much concerned now that make we continue for team up with other um, institutions and other bodies for see how we can able for eradicate this out of the country we we don't they meet with uh, uh, um, different different organizations in the past um, early part of this month we don't they organize trainings with the with the help of Trokia where we don't get the FSU self we don't come for help we for 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 train police officers them now the FSU for know how for deal with some of them cases there so and even with rainbow initiative when it comes to medical practitioners them how for how for you know because most of them are the first responders to them uh, and victims they are so so we don't they do a lot and if we all know say if we if we if we want for eradicate this out of the country now a collective effort and we're ready for work with everybody we, we can look at our efforts we will not do they do but <coughs> you, as you get from the uh family support unit domestic violence not only limits to women and uh, man themselves can go complain domestic violence but lawyers always limit their advocacy and their activities around women them why would I limit them to women them not include the domestic violence as a whole? Well, as I say, we are a group of female legal practitioners them. And when this when this company me incorporated in nineteen ninety seven, then are twenty seven years ago, because this February we pass will celebrate twenty seven years. It may, it, may, it may come as a result of the fact say now woman and girl picking them that they suffer more. In most cases, you can say women are the weaker sex or now women are more vulnerable. So because of that, the founders them of the of the company thought and fit at the time say now woman and girl picking their interest more with for promote, especially with the fact say Sagalion don't go through the war. You know, then send them, then a woman and girl picking at the more they suffer in terms of displacement, in terms of capture. You know, when the rebels say they carry the capture, now other they suffer more than woman and girl picking. And in most cases as well, no woman and girl picking can get the uh, and people for speak up for them. So lawyers at the time we formed for promote and protect the rights of woman and girl picking. And since 1997 up to date, where we don't celebrate 27 years so. We continue for promote and protect the interests of women and girls picking in a salon. So we concern more not about the mandem, 
but I'm more about women and girl picking names. Ah, it's um, Una safe people can go complain to Una. Which case them or which are the, some of the things that we the woman that can go explain to Una where they can um, get some different homes then? We don't face with different, different cases. As I said, we office in 11 Passival Street, and we get a staff where they work there 9 to 5. And minus the, the, the staff, we get what we call duty council, where na in day day for the, you know, represent we in a court where then cases they are so come. So we don't, they get different, different cases ranging from physical abuse to sexual abuse to economic abuse to psychological abuse to harassment as well. We don't get cases also we get for dealing with uh, uh, the female genital mutilation, FGM for, so, for short, where we can, where, as we can call them. So, in them cases then they, we they, we they welcome them, we they, uh, um, we they encourage people them um, for speak up on them thing then they, and where they come, in some cases the way we think so we can able for mediate between the parties, we can do mediation or alternate dispute uh, resolution. But in cases the way we think, say this, there is no way it better let the person go court and face the full penalty of the law with the go court as well. So we they get different, different cases, not only from Freetown here, so, but also for the, from the provinces as well. Uh, um, um, the other day, somebody they sent a um, video to me of one uh, woman where they allege, allegedly rape over 100 almost here, you know, dis, di, um, distressing uh, um, 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 news. So we they find out, say, in all limited to age, first you defeat us in a way the person, you know, young girl, a senior, teenager. Now you they find out, say, baby, older people, all man they suffer. So we they get different, different cases ranging from different, different uh, uh, um, people, them, whether young, whether old, whether whether short, you no, know, however you see them, we they get different, different instances. Uh, the, the instance where you mention of that over 100 years uh, case will be later turned out, say, not to be true when they receive news like that. How would they evaluate complaints them where they can to una for CC this na fact the person can report, not to just for use them as an advantage for disadvantage somebody. Um we know as 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 um, female legal practitioners them we know the sanctity of the law. And we know say we not believe on hearsay, waiting this person say we take a hook line and sinker. So when we can get the information then they we say say they try for reach out. As I say we get we what we can try for do more now for encourage people and for talk. You know, you can't you talk, you tell you your situation, we self go, we find out. We de, we de, we de, we de, we they reach out to the people as well. And we they try for Yeri both sides because the law they tell we say not to one side no more for Yeri where one person can explain all your own story, you take and forbid the gospel truth. We they work for listening both sides. If you say person do you this, we they call the next person as well and put himself down and talk to him. So we know they listen to one side, one for listening to both sides, even when we they do mediation, even when cases they can to even before we they go court, we want for listening to the other party as well. Let we know say waiting this person so they talk na true, na facts. So when we can receive so on Sunday, it can come directly to me na my phone. I can ask, okay, let me get this person answer your number. Me say go call the person. I talk to the person. When the person explain the situation to me, I will say, well, this person has a way you claim say do this to you. Let me get himself your number. I reach out to that person himself. Talk to both sides because now when you hear the two sides, now you're able for properly give a, 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 a profile a solution or give um, a, 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 a legal opinion as to the next step forward. All right. Um, when you start, you mention say some cases and they when I can talk them between um, the two parties. Some cases and they when I can say them go court. Which case when I can talk between um, the two parties them and how are they determine case way for go court? Well, in terms of mediation, we they look at minor offenses. So until you come, you say um, this man here. So sometimes now one side don't happen. I don't ask and say let he left money for the picking them. The picking them not get nothing for it. They not provide the money. So until one side happen. So until it happen another thing. In the instances, and they will call the man, make he come to we. Try for reason with them. Try for talk to them. Because one of the things say we 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 can forget. Now the fact say what can happen between spouses, 
it not they affect only the man and the woman, but they go also to the picking them. And now the picking them are the more they suffer. So in them cases, then they will call the man, try for reason with them, say, ah, this year, so if you are your woman, get problem, remember, say not to the woman no more, they are bogo. The picking them self, they suffer. So in this instance, then, then an example of a, a mediation service so we can able for, 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 for offer. When we they talk about matters the way they go court, something like rape, you know, this person has so long come, especially when you look at something the age, you know, even if not to the age safe, because no woman, nowhere, not for so far, that kind enjoy, uh, that kind uh, um, harm day or torture day for rape a woman. In the instances, then they definitely now matter like uh, that way when we look into the into the strength of the evidence and when we look at the merits of the case, we go say no, this is better lady person in go court and, and and make it face the full penalty of the of the law. We we'll over now to you, um, Mr. Vandy. We don't highlight a lot of issues them inside the program this morning, but again, the ministry gets any platform where somebody will be call and report any case across the country. Yes, uh, thank you very much, Usman, for that question. Um, yes, we get platform for reports. Um, four years ago, we launched what we call Hotline 116. Uh, 116 is free for reports any SGBV matter because we really be no say uh, we and we partners and we they work, uh, we know they everywhere, much as the number of uh, family support units don't increase over time. But then they are still hard to reach communities with anything that they happen until they're able to reach out. And somebody with they in um, that kind of situation, distress, then they also not get money for an economic livelihood and every other thing that you expect them for buy top up and call for raise alarm on an issue is difficult. So we've been, we've been launched at 116 for the people that they call and report. And additionally, we also um, ensure say we get an approach we are in sgbv one institution not able to handle them there was a time where we and lawyers and we they really pack cases from them when uh legal aid board not being there will be the because cases i mean just so many and they may offer for do uh representation for them and and all of them till and so for now um we get with ministry structures and other districts and then waiting we don't put in place now the district GBV steering committees where they happen every month so that stakeholders and the CDOM they're able to address their issues and as it's being reported and for ensure say they're able to manage the one that way and the manager at district level the one way they're not able they can escalate them to regional or or headquarter level so we get a mechanism there for the reports all right how active this number be well the number are very active um um you know like any other um call uh you know they just call one you say i'm not able to get her because even during the peak of ebola one one service sometimes they call you're not able but you can keep trying and you're able to get her and it's really free on uh all registered mobile networks like uh um, orange africell gibson for let you people that were able to reach access for reports so that once we get that report with a filter around. like for instance we enjoy the talk about the kamakwe alleged uh, that granny, I mean, we staff they come and quit. I call them right away. They're able to work with the police, they're able to work for investigate and ensure say not to true. And we even uh, work with the Sierra Leone police also for see say if false information don't come, we need to arrest some of them. So the person we confirm, say, yeah, yeah, they confirmed say it happened, they arrest them. It is, it is with the police because those are also things, false alarms them, it creates a lot of things. And I can tell you, say, even 116. There are days where they get a lot of prank calls. We're not related to anything. So, but, I mean, I, I, I can imagine if I don't leave my phone uh, for two, two, three hours, nobody not call me. Myself, I, let, I try no more. Let I talk, let I know, say, myself, we talk on the phone or whatever. So, a lot of things come not related to SGBV, not related to anything, but the substantive one, the way they come, will they follow the, through? The, and they are the 116, how often they get active? Um, we w one thing we do for the one one six we uh, contract a business entity we um, they render that service for we and a a day twenty four hours as we do. This now call from Radio Democracy. Yes, uh, good morning. Yes, this now 
116 domestic violence line yes sir okay thank you very much yeah. all right i think we just don't confirm because at times we get um, most people working can now the democracy they give a, a line at times when you call you go call nearly all day you know most times they're not they're not give a um, respond so so when i get any data of calls then we we when i don't get from we want to establish this line uh, it's uh like one one year we even get over five thousand calls where they come in i don't bring the data now for sure because from who establish the sgbv coordinator on our office we um uh, can give me all of the information report to me uh, can give me um, data as in the happen every quarter but uh, as I did tell you like they can register this call now for say we don't receive X number of call but then nothing not really come on out of her but mm -hmm. we we get the one that we really not genuine calls we will they get we know they we know they we know they advertise the number for let people then just they on test run uh, somebody can wait in with them call them back it's enough to maybe call you so all of them issues and they can happen but the line is active and we want the people to utilize it so like when i call so i want to say something but due to network or other challenges when i can call back um we don't get that call back mechanism because if you say you they respond to 400 calls you they call back uh it's it's it's, it's pretty challenging operations officer family support unit at the salon police um you don't talk about the complaints and more i don't treat well, i don't receive but inside the past year them where you do talk to the family support unit or perhaps where the salon police can go present them budgets why you need to make you always cry now the family support unit within each complaint you want to receive how capacitated we are in terms of human resource and also other uh, resources them for annually complaint and process them um, the the family support unit we know we say we are well capacitated or we get a hundred percent but we tell you say we they get the support with the help for the unit they work like how would they continue for work and when you get a leader where a passionate about certain issues it pay attention to that and i will tell you for sure say one of them leader in the world don't get the police now the president inspector general of police we now mr william, william Arsene, they don't they make provisions for lady fsu the work actively First them when we they get them trip them for like we go upline pass your matter we find it difficult for go because we think about transportation we think about other things then but now at any time we knock the doors of the the director the one that we the supervise we say we get a trip for so so easy then they give you the support for let we go and we don't the lobby through the inspector general i don't the lobby to other institutions that we go so, so uh, support the family supporting it because the government not to do everything <coughs> once and one day because the responsibility is by the government. So sometimes we need to knock the doors of other people and we will help you. And we don't they get support from UNICEF, from other NGO, other organizations that really help people. Let we get motorbikes, let we get vehicles as we continue for acts. Like I say, we know we get all one thing, one thing. We still they ask for more. But we get some support that we will get with the help we follow work effectively. One of the complaints that we can come against uh, the police now that most times when people can go reports, uh, they can ask the victims them perhaps for paper, for buy paper or for buy fear for going at the scene or transport for the officers that we can go at the scene. How will they defend against complaints like this? Yes, actually, in a concern with people in Kiris, and we said they put effort for see that it not happen. Not only for the family supporting the Sierra Leone police at large. But I can tell you, say, most of the time, some of their stories and the way we share, some of them share in company experience. Some are not to instead say, don't go to police and meet with this kind of situation. Some are talk them to Kenya and say, don't get an email, they go to everywhere. And we always encourage people and say, if you go to a station, for go report a case in a family support unit, police officer tell you, say, buy paper. Reporter, or buy fiel or, or buy fiel, reporter. You get right for reporter. Well, again, it complaint mechanism. Yes, we get complaint mechanism. Of course, we get the CDIID winner for the police generally. But for we FSU, the head of FSU, um, mm -hmm. now, person we get open door policy. We always then decide we go 
uh, they share a number and they make contact with people then. And we self we they work with them as a young soldier man the way they help for like the unit make the mark. We self always ready for listening to people they call. So we can say if you go you meet the direct investigator, you see they get difficulty, talk to the line manager. If the line manager and I they get difficult with talk to the coordinators. When are the regional coordinators? If the coordinators also if they get difficulty with her, talk to the national office. Right. When you talk to we will they come in strong because we know say we did it for giving service to people. So if you they come, say if you don't get paper, if paper no day, not to that person they will they come to complain in responsibility for provider paper. Alright, so now we own responsibility. When I say get any free line. No, we don't get free line. We don't get free line. We they work with the ministry and that line they will all be known the work with. We actually be one for establish a free line, but we see and say we just they duplicate things because we all work towards the same goal and now we all a partner together. So most of the time when they get calls, then they call we. Like they say any call we they receive, they know who that for call. If they try the line manager, for instance, na New Englandville, they not get her, then they call headquarter. Headquarter now we know say for call the line manager will not get her. We can call the JPU crime. We can call the MCO crime. For law tell say there is an issue around New Englandville where they don't call 116. So when I respond quickly, so the person will able to get a quick response. Of course, police get general line where the police they use, where people can call. And their line they need to work. But for say FSU get a special line. No, we don't get special line. I uh, recently we see a video of a woman wearing um the same police officer beat her all over him in, in, in body na na upline. How far would that case be? Um that case they under investigation, a speedily investigation. Like I say, um, policeman for be very be careful because we na too law the cover we than the civilian. You when a civilian, the law we for abide with na the country law. But we policeman, they abide with the country law. You also abide with the police disciplinary laws. We also they guide you for be a policeman or not for be a policeman. So equally, that same person we the alleged so when an investigation they go, then we not take disciplinary action against that, and also then they investigate the criminal aspect. What not the action we wanna take against that? Then we also suspend them. Okay. And the investigation they own now. I continue the for the them, they know the investigation they own. I continue for the way to inside the program, Alan Sana. I will come over to you, Joy Gabidon. At this moment, um, what are the case they want to get at hand in terms of data? Um, as a group of lawyers, um, <laughs> we, we formed in 1997 and the company completed in 2010. I'm not able to give a, a data right now as to the number of cases because, as I say, we don't in existence from 1997, even though it was incorporated as a company in 2010. I'm not able to give like a figure because it's been a while. But definitely, we don't do so many cases. There are cases that we not directly to where they come because we get um, numbers then for reach out, like new number. We not get like a, a, a toll free line. But we get certain numbers them of key people them who can give out. When uh, if you get any problems on time, you then the then are the problems you able for can free tongue, you can able for call and report. So we don't they get them calls and they we don't they get them uh, uh, um, reports and they and we also they get from time to time as I say we get a duty council where it can give feedback to the executive like quarterly feedback as to the cases the way we get in file. But the cases that generally we can deal with, and where we don't they deal with over the past years, it get for deal uh, and primarily with physical and sexual, physical abuse and sexual abuse. And then cases and they we don't they deal with. But unfortunately, at the moment, I don't able to give like a proper statistics as to the uh, um, figures of the cases that we don't deal with so uh, far. Cooperation um, from family member them now and, and other big issue where at times uh, we can hear it from lawyers them say the family member them and other people not can cooperate. What one I can do in this case for the family member them cooperate in terms of rape and other sexual um, issues? Um, really, really, because of the society where we live in, people are not can want for talk and cooperation can really be poor. And even in as much as we can try for mediate, but in we mediation, we can't force people them mm -hmm. for see things the way how we want for make them see them. What we can try for do we encourage people them? Because at the end of the day, we no say we forbid we brothers keeper. And we not for wait till somebody die 
before we raise an alarm. So we continue for encourage family members. If once you can lay complaint to we end, if you think say you get somebody we can for corroborating evidence, we then encourage a lay bring a come on board. So until the person go afraid because some man as a real lawyer, so he don't afraid. You don't begin the member say, Hey, me, I go court this on which I go say, or if I go to police, which I go say. I don't want for I want for assure people and say we pride ourselves in confidentiality. Whatever it is, so you they tell we, you know, they you know they go out there. So we encourage family members to let them speak up. If you if if complain can't so we miss self cable for reach out to the to the to the people they want to say they want they also cable for support the case and try for encourage and say do ya. You can able for save this victim yeah, so in life if you able for, for talk for them. So as I say, we know they push with ideology for people and say power power now so you for uh, and because we see and this way now so you say for see them. But we encourage people then and make them know say whatever you tell we is confidential and nobody else not gonna know okay. about them. That's them for me to take some of the Usman. This one from um, Super Cups for the say one of the major increase of domestic violence is as a result of most Sierra Leonean women are not productive, always depends on the man as a source of income. So the man always take advantage of him providing for the woman. This one from us us friend come on our Facebook page you see uh, the stakeholders involved in the anti GBV campaign thinking of including a forensic DNA test system. Presently, most of the cases being reported are investigated on the basis of circumstantial evidence and witnesses information them see. The prosecution sector is challenged with evidence news to prosecute suspects. Having a DNA system in place will help the judiciary to towards convict convicting suspects of sexual violence and sp violence this one say um, lack of evidence that the main issue we make plenty of them kiss their um, the court okay this one also clear we continue for look at more text messages them inside the program good morning salon um, uh, this one says, what is the latest on CR case? Because domestic violence in any form is unacceptable, I pray justice prevail and may I so rest in peace from Maxen and New Englandville. This one say, police and the ministry, uh, lawyers, please raise awareness about the violence that happened to man. Okay. Um, with them, Usman, the last one from me because of time. Yeah, the last one I will take is say, uh, Mr. Vandy, before we dial the 166, any code day for dial before we call? All right. That now some of the messages then. We'll start off with you, Mr. Vandy. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, yes, um, government take this issue very seriously. And uh, on the issue of a uh, forensic laboratory, I think this now, uh, on why we did talk about collective responsibility Forensic, forensic equipment very expensive, but I keep saying, you know, they compare them to the uh, human life. So if it's anything we need for do, forget forensic laboratory. I think we need forget time for really corroborate some of the evidences that we the police they investigate. So my clear and call to government and all the development partners say we need that. Um, stakeholder involvement. Yes, we we get a lot of stakeholder involvement in this. Um, as today, 3 p.m., we'll get a uh, high-level stakeholder GBV uh, meeting in uh, the conference room of the uh, chief minister. Now, meetings in this whole can go regularly, and we don't do the national town hall meeting on SGBV on the 8th of July in uh, Freetown City Council Auditorium, and we want to replicate this in all of the districts that we get town hall. We want to take this conversation out to the people, let we all ensure, say, we all fed this uh, matter. Um, somebody, they asked on... Uh, if you can dial any code before you... If you can dial any code, no, we not a, you don't need for dial any code. Just type 116 and go direct, and you'll be able to get... Uh, uh, response will then go direct you. For instance, if now around New England area, then go direct you now outside for come New England police station or for go to the uh, Rainbow Center or wherever the service will require for let you do. And the, the matter we been then at Kamakwe on the police officer we been did, uh, we officer also been on the work with the stakeholders in the day. Um, a sentencing has been served 
and we want for them to see more of them in the in public okay. area we people them to see and uh, uh, we we hope say that will serve as a deterrent for the one that we want for do similar thing. Uh, thank you very much for yes. joining us today edition of thank the you. program, Mr. Sarawali. Do you respond to text message or a message to Australian and Saudi on the role of the FSU in fight against gender-based violence? Um, thank you very much. And I think the message you talk about um, evidence, lack of evidence in our one party the way they really affect. Yes, I will agree. Say sometime can come, we know we will get evidence. But the tax of the police, the FSU, now for investigate, for prove or for disprove where we can say inculpative or exculpative. And always we, they do we assignments for law, get them facts, then they and present her. So you self we they make the allegation, get a lot for do, for help we out. Because sometimes people they can just give you story. When it comes to investigation now, people they know they did. Like somebody go write a send her Facebook. When you begin investigating, call that person, you know, for like a, make himself available is difficult. So sometimes it can affect but in the issue of SDBV, I think now we all fight. So if we all put hands together and support each other, we will be able to protect. We pick in them, we woman them, and the country at large. So I think now that no more official gets about the messages. Thank you very much. See ya. Well, uh, joy. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yes. Um, one thing we want to say, one of the... Um, Possibly they talk about the in fact say women they're not productive. I think say we get for stop this culture of blaming the victims. I don't feel say the victim are ever the problem. Please look, stop this culture of blaming the victims. Let's try for encourage we we women and girl picking them. May we continue for giving them the giving the confidence where then where they deserve. And with this um the G we act as well, I feel say women don't they make tremendous progress for improving themselves. Also, um, the forensic lab, I feel, say, will be a, 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 a big step in ensuring that justice prevails. I also want to use this opportunity to tell listeners and say lawyers will get to AGM on the 20th of September and Freetown City Council. And also we go talk about with strategic, with strategic plan. We will go deal with the um, improving women legal access and continue for advocates for the rights of women and girl picking the national. Thank you very much for joining me in the edition of the program. Joy Gabidon, Deputy Publicity and Organizing Secretary for Lawyers, and also um, thank you, Charles Fandi, Deputy Chief Director, Ministry of Gender and Children's Affairs, and also Lansa Natarawali, Operations Officer, Family Support Unit, Australian Police, for one joining me in the edition of the program. Also, can look at gender based violence and within the authorities, them they do for feds against them. We then see the increase in the country. Please, thank you for one joining me.